Great, de that's a great Denver defense way to go ahead and force to take over on turnovers. But um, do you feel as though it took a while for this offense to really get going? Um, the first drive we came out and scored, and we just kept stalling and couldn't complete third down and false starts and holding penalties that pushed our offense back. So we just got to correct those things and keep moving forward. Got here a little late. That catch. Take, can you take me through that? Um, it was a double move, and we've been working on it all week in practice, and I knew that once I get leverage on him for the inside, Fred put it up there for me, and I just locked in on the outside and took the ball, and I got one hand over there and brung it in. So one hand out, that's all you need, right? <laughs> it was a great catch for me, but two hands is better than one. Do you, do you work on that? I don't work on one hands at all. No. I always go with two hands. Chris, how important, how important was this game to the guys in this locker room after the, 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 the two good games you put together? It was very important. Like, every game is important for us for now, knowing that we three and five now, and we want to be above 500 and keep stacking on the wins, and hopefully everybody else falls and we keep thriving. Travis, I'm sorry this was asked already. Can you talk to me a little about going up against this uh, Broncos defense? Well, I don't know. They, they front seven is incredible, and the back end with Harris and Tlaib and Ward and those guys in the back end, we know that's probably the best defense in the game, and we just got to limit our mistakes and just keep pushing forward in this offense. Is there a team that's better at capitalizing on the mistakes than the Broncos? Uh, they seem to always capitalize. They always have 11 guys run the ball, and each and every time, tip ball or ball on the ground, they either scooping the scoring or going all the way with it.